everyone, it's Taryn. I'm back to share another mini with you. Um, this mini is one that I created for myself. I used the Die Cuts with a View Summer's Dream collection. Um, and I used like the purples and the greens from that collection. Um, and I really, really love Die Cuts with a View anyway. But this particular collection was double, is, di is double-sided. Um, so I really, really had fun uh, making this little album. And I recently got a bind it all. So um, a lot of the projects you'll be seeing now will be bound using my Bind It All. Um, in fact, I'm thinking of doing a little Bind It All mini series because I've done about two or three different projects um, using my Bind It All and um, all using different um, resources or materials like this one, the front and back cover are chipboard but the inside pages are large um, coin envelopes and another one I did um, is using like a paper bag or several paper bags and one is like using envelopes so anyway I'm having a lot of fun using my bind it all um, so if it's if having a little mini series bind it all mini series sounds like something that you might um, like to watch um, please let me know leave me a comment and um, definitely planning on uh, making that happen so anyway let's get into the mini so um, like I said, the paper collection is die cuts with a view, Summer's Dream. Um, and a lot of these um, little die cuts come from k and Company. Um, it was like a large die cut pack that I got from Tuesday mornings a while ago. Um, and the colors match pretty good. Um, so decided to use them up. So on the binding, um, I have two little charms here. One is a heart. Or I'm sorry, one is a butterfly and one is a rose with a little piece of bling in there and they're hung by a garment pin. I have a couple ribbons here on the side. I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to add more. Um, but this title says, Let Your Dreams Take Flight. So I really, really like that. And then right along the border here is a Martha Stewart punch, um, border punch. And then I have four Prima purple flowers that I got from Michael's um, a little while ago and in between the flowers are a piece of lavender uh, bling. So that's my cover. And the first page is a die cut from, I use my Sizzix die for this, and it's open at the top so I can add my picture. Here's a Martha Stewart punch, um, and after I add my picture in here, I'm going to actually put um, two pieces of bling over those circles right there. And this side I pretty much just left alone because the paper is so pretty and I really didn't want to cover it up. Um, but it's all sparkly and stuff. So um, The tags that I have are pretty pretty basic. I didn't even stamp on them yet. Um, but I used the die cuts with a view of the shimmer paper. Um, shimmer stack or something like that. But um, so and I used a uh, recollections flower with a piece of, I mean, and I set an eyelet through that. So I'm going to stamp on the back eventually. But all the tags are the same, they're just different colors. And then on this side, I use my Martha Stewart punch and another piece um, from that Can Company collection. And here is a little tag, um, Sizzix die that I altered. I took the circle part out of that um, die so I can make the circles where I want them now, or not at all. Like in this case, I just stapled a piece of ribbon. This is another page I left blank because I wanted to show that pretty purple flower. So I'm going to put a picture right in here. And another tag. And this side is another die cut. Um, this is one of a kind, and I can slide my picture in there when I get it. And here's just another little tag that I stamped on. Um, and I used the uh, Stampin' Up Rich Razzleberry ink to distress it. And I stamped on the back. And then this page, um, I used my top note die and I ran it through um, once and then I turned the piece around and ran it through again. And this is the shape that I got and I'm pretty happy with it. I think it looks pretty cool. And you can still see the those uh, almost looks like uh, pierced piecings on the side so it looks pretty cool and then here's a Martha Stewart punch butterfly punch that I punched out of the paper another tag 
and this side another die cut piece I can add a add a photo right behind there it says capture the joy oh and this is the Martha Stewart uh, doily punch or border punch here's another page I wanted to kind of leave alone because I really like those those birds and I just tied two pieces of ribbon around and I'll slide, be able to slide a photo underneath there there's another tag this side is another die cut piece from the Kane Company collection and I use my Martha Stewart border punch again so I can slide a photo underneath there here's another little tag that I stamped and distressed with Stampin' Up's Rich Razzleberry ink and I added a three-dimensional sticker from the um, Summer Dream sticker pack collection and did some more stamping another die cut that I left open so I can add my photos to another tag this just left this page blank because I really like that paper um, and then this side I used an EK success punch and made a um, little pocket so I can slide something in there another tag and here I um, used my Martha Stewart corner punch and created just this little photo mat and then I added this epoxy sticker from the die cuts with a view um, that summer dream collection it says love has a little butterfly behind it really cute and then the last page is um, I made a pocket out of this is the back piece and the front piece are both chipboard um, so as I was covering the chipboard I usually just lay a piece down and then cut around it well I have this extra flap here so I figured well let me just fold it over and make a pocket and it worked out really well so I'm sure that that's been done uh, many times before but I was pretty impressed with myself so I figured I'd share <laughs> it's not rocket science but I thought it was pretty cool the way it turned out so anyway I used my Martha Stewart border punch and added some purple bling in between or in between the flowers and just three more tags that I die cut and added some ribbon to and here's the back so that is my mini and thanks for watching have a good day bye